I feel like I haven't talked to you for ages because I kind of haven't. <laughs> but I am still here, yeah. I feel like at the moment I've had to change my whole life around, jumble it upside down, back to front if you like. I think today what I'm gonna show you, as well as catch you up on like personal and life and health update and stuff like that, is to show you my home art space and I got the most amazing bargains for my chair, which James found, and my table, so I'll show you all that and it's working out so, so well. Wow. Thank you, I'm here It's cozy though, isn't it? It's putting my fire on because it's chilly in here today it's been raining for days and days and days literally we've got like flooding on the road which really isn't helpful for my driving confidence and reinstating it if you like so it's been kind of a longer process than I thought it might be I just kind of had to see how it how it goes and so yeah I feel like I've had to turn my life completely upside down back to front if you've been here a little while, you will probably already realise that I'm a real creature of habit, of routine, and I find safety and comfort in that. And so shaking things up and changing things around isn't always my natural state, and yeah, can feel a little bit discombobulating, a little bit uncomfortable. You'll have to let me know if you are, you know, like that. Anyway, I'm really not going into the studio that much, apart from when James takes me in. So that may be a little bit of a, you know, cop out in a sense, but at least it's getting me out and about because that's obviously really important as well as part of feeling, you know, I'm back out in the world. I mean, I don't always like going out. So again, if you've been here a little while, you will already know that, but anyway. <laughs> So yeah, my life has changed somewhat for a little while, temporarily, and don't get me wrong, I'm so, so grateful, I'm so blessed, I was so lucky to not have a serious injury. There is a video explaining all that, so I won't go into that now, that was a couple of weeks ago now. So I think I'm about six weeks post mishap, and physically I feel fine, I'm, I'm pretty much healed 100%, I would say, I still need to be a little bit careful of certain things like kneeling on my knees and that kind of thing, I'm a little bit fragile. But basically, I'm, you know, back to normal. I'm not in pain or anything like that. Again, you know, I'm so, so lucky. It's not just the physical thing, is it, that gets thrown up in the air. So mental health-wise, I think there's definitely been some yeah wobbles and yeah as i say the thing that's really really holding me back i would say is my is my driving confidence i've lost a load of confidence since everything happened and i have driven myself in a couple of times to the studio as you may or may not know james works away in the week so when he's here at the be very beginning of the week i tend to go to the studio with him you know look after the plant babies because that really is a priority for me but then when he goes, I tend to have a lot of hesitation about 
driving myself. I've made myself go in a few times, so you know, pats on the back for that. But it's not a regular confidence that I recognise, if you like, that hasn't returned yet. And I have every faith it will, so I'm feeling positive, but at the same time I recognise as well that there are some mental health obstacles to navigate, if you like. And that's bound to be the case, isn't it? We know this. Yeah. So I'm not being hard on myself. My current word, I don't tend to have a word of the year, I tend to have a current word, and that word is grace. It's an ongoing theme throughout Wendy, time if you like so if you needed a little message to give yourself grace cut yourself a little bit of slack and have a little bit of self-compassion let this be a sign for you we all deserve that for sure so that's what i've been doing but this week as well i had my old my very old car so i have a, had my car which is completely written off for almost 20 years so this november it was going to be 20. so it was really really sentimental to me and so this week on monday i had to say goodbye to it got taken away to you know scrap and that was more emotional than i expected i kind of feel like it held part of my soul you know it held me safe while i was traveling and as james said you know it was a, a really good travel companion to me for a long time an old friend it's understandable but at the end of the day it's still a thing and i'm really grateful that the important things like you know nobody else was hurt i wasn't hurt are you know in place but it's still a case of acknowledging that you know it's hard to let things go when they've been with you that long so i have a new to me vehicle now and i'm getting used to driving it <laughs> ish <laughs> it's been a little bit bumpy you know they're digging up the road or something out there and of course it was really really quiet yesterday and i didn't talk to you so i should have talked to you yesterday and then there wouldn't be all this noise Anyway, I thought I would show you my studio setup, my art space. It's basically a corner of this room, which is my conservatory slash sunroom, whatever you like to call it. And it's working out really, really well for me. I've had some obstacles, things don't always go smoothly. And I've got a load of thrifted furniture as well. I think just about every item of furniture in this house is secondhand thrifted. Obviously a really important element in a studio, in an art space, if you're going to get creative, is the light. And the light's wonderful in here. It hasn't got a solid ceiling. It's kind of like translucent PVC or something like that. So that gives me some, you know, light. But obviously I've got all these windows around me as well. And the birds out there who are pretty active, especially the pigeons and the crows, because they argue a lot over the food. <laughs> I put their food over there now, because it's, you know, it's been a bit of a problem. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking to you for now, because I'm a little bit nervous that there's too much noise and you won't be able to hear me. <laughs> what have you been doing out there? I'm wrapping it. I love it, Bubba. It's a beauty. Oh, I see. I think it's got fake logs as well. Oh. Is it heavy? It's not too bad. So it's an A efficiency. Oh, wow. We didn't know that. Mm. Good. Instructions in there. The regulator and the hose. I like the shiny black, yeah. Oh, wow. Hinged. Hinged top. <laughs> oh. Got, oh, see, that'll be where the flames will burn. Getting the little tassels. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Like a little briquette. OK, weird. A nice feature, though, isn't it? It's a nice addition. Fun. Oh, I just put another log on fire. <laughs> Some cardboard kind of boxes, gonna make it a bit more stuffy. So I'm just doing a before. I don't know if you can see James waving through there. So, this corner, James cleared all that. That was kind of cardboard boxes from moving. So, it actually looks a lot better now than it did some stuff though just wanted to show you before you know you get a proper look 
<laughs> so what is the loose plan then, do you reckon? So we're going to move this back against the wall. Yeah. We're going to move the mirror out of the way some way, so I'm not sure where that's going to go. No. And the heater is going to go here. Where? In the corner. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then I'm thinking like the art station <laughs> yeah, <laughs> set station. up somewhere this yeah. side. I don't quite know where yet, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you might want to call it central, I don't, I don't know, I really don't know, because you don't want to have any sort of fulsome, do you? Kind of just put the table and then mm. I can move that trolley because it's on wheels and mm -hmm. if you set that up as well, into the maybe in the corner and... Yeah. Because I'm thinking, if that's that side, I, I'm left-handed, so I need oh, my, right. you know, I need it a certain way, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cute in the corner, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? We'll test that in a minute. All right. Let's just move things into place. Then. Too chunky to move. That. Just trying to do work out the fairy lights. This is just temporary. It's cosy though, isn't it? It's going to be cosy anyway when we get the fire on. And James is doing a good job. We just got a lot of mud. <laughs> We had a little fella, a little doggy. So this is where we're at so far. <laughs> getting there, you know, we're getting there. And if I just turn around, you can see, just clearing a space for the table. Yes. What am I doing? Push the knob down. And turn it to the double sparky. There. Yeah. Hold that down and then press sparky. Go, go, go. Whoa. Is it lit? She has blue flame. Okay, she let go gently. Oh, did it go out? Yeah, gently. I let that one up. That's it. Let go. Let go. Pilot's lit. Just right, really gently lift it. I don't actually think it's going to get hot around that side. You know, <sighs> I think it's all this thing at the front here that's going to get the heat. Yeah. I mean, it probably will. So later, yeah. after you've been using it for an hour, I can just touch this gently to see how hot that is. Once I'm warm, I'll turn it down to its one. Oh, look how bright it is. Is that's, that? That's Max. Wow, look how bright that is. <laughs> so Ooh, I'll be sitting over here and then I'll be looking. It's just over here. Wow. <laughs> you like it, Bubba? <laughs> Honey, what, why are you laughing? <laughs> Bizarre thing, it's almost, it's almost like a, uh, I don't know, a virtual fire, but it is actually a real fire. It's great, it's A, a rated, I mean, I know it's A plus, A plus, A plus, 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 but it's like, A is good. It's warming up already, I can feel that. Yeah, I can, it's lovely. Very nice.
So, I think if you dismantle your up, that mm -hmm. current mm -hmm. setup, don't lift anything heavy. No, I will and, uh, and empty the cupboard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just put the table away there for now. I'm going to prep your new table, just to the edges. All right. The Queen's throne. <laughs> Boomerang. Boom. Boom. How is it? It's good. A bit wobbly. So that's it so far, the plan, as you can see, do a little spin. <laughs> I don't know if you can see through there, but I've just kind of dumped all the stuff from the cupboard and yeah, it's crazy loony mess in there. So I'm just gonna, you know, do a bit of sorting. James is prepping my chair now. So I'll show you that in a minute. Very excited. And I'm just gonna potter with the stuff and uh, put things in situ try things out maybe, because I'm not sure anything goes yet, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, share how I get on. This is from up there, you can kind of see. But this table is a really nice size for my home studio. Bigger than I was expecting, but... So yeah, I've just piled things that have come out of the drawers and the cupboardy and the cupboard that we've moved into the garage now. So I just need to clear the table, basically. So I'll get on with that, but uh, I probably won't vlog that because it's really boring. I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was 
so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson So I am a work in progress, I'm by no means finished in here at all, but I have moved it forward quite a lot with a lot of James's help as well and it's taken me a good few weeks because I've kind of done a little bit here and there and then you know been resting in between as well and I have been creating in here as well so I am winning with it but yeah I'm not, we're not complete yet. You have to take me as you find me and I kind of got a feeling that you won't mind, no. So I think the most important thing in here to start us off the process was definitely putting in this this gas fire and it does have kind of like you know fakey logs and stuff so when it starts to get darker in here it's really kind of cozy and cute and oh my goodness it's so so cozy and warm so that's the main thing and obviously I have to ventilate the room a little bit as well because it's running on a gas bottle so you can kind of see down there but I can turn off the house heating and just you know be in here so it's kind of economical as well to work with I don't have to heat the whole house in order to work in here in other words and then here I've got <laughs> this is kind of funny because I got this lamp shade how can I show you hang on a second let me just zoom you out a little bit yeah so I this is just a, like an, an old Ikea lamp that was in the studio and I have a, a daylight bulb in there so I don't really have fancy lighting or anything like that for filming I mean we're getting into spring now and the light is returning but it still gets dark fairly early so if I'm still working I need extra and then this lampshade I got from Facebook marketplace and I just think it's great but I haven't got a a base for it yet I just kind of balanced it on here for now to give me like you know what it what it's going to look like but that yeah it's just makeshift for now and I've temporarily sort of looped some fairy lights up as well which again you know it's really cozy in here in the evening with just those so that's kind of nice but I need to loop them up properly and yeah I'll probably loop them around the room a little bit so as I uh, settle in and then I've got some plant babies from the studio which I need to repot so I am gonna have some greenery in here obviously the birdies are outside I don't think they're there at the minute but uh, flowers coming up that's the box I brought home from the studio and I filled that IKEA bag and that's kind of my tripod bag that was just full of stuff which is now you know all over the place because I've been working and then I've got a bin and the easel that James got me for Christmas and yeah my broken ring light which is still really useful because it allows me to extend my working time and then I have my art trolley here with some stuff and then over here I've also brought this box from the studio which is quite handy and I've got all my pencil crayons out and about at the minute and yeah I have been doing some journaling and drawing and stuff a little bit of painting as well so I have actually been quite busy in here over the last few weeks but you know pacing myself a little bit as well but my main purchases in here have been first of all this chair which James found second hand and that was a real bargain it was really really wobbly James has repaired it quite a lot and made it much more sturdy and it's really really comfy I love the arms on it and then the main thing that I've got in here going on is this table so I'm not sure the length of it I think it's about 1.6 maybe 1.8 meters something like that but it's it's an old I don't know it's oaky or something like that it's really sturdy and that was secondhand James again found it he's so good at finding things secondhand and that was 30 pounds so altogether it's cost me 50 quid to get that set up and I was looking at furniture on Ikea and it was hundreds and hundreds of pounds and it didn't have any character because it was new um, so yeah that was not really an ideal solution so the most expensive thing was the fire that was expensive I think that was about 200 maybe 300 pounds but I wanted something that kind of looked quite pretty as well and had that open flame so I did pay a little bit extra and then yeah managed to save 
some pennies on this but that is the current setup and then over this side of the room I've still got you know stuff to sort out and yeah bits and bobs so I've got another clip light there vegetables <laughs> yeah there is things in here it's not just an art studio it's to be honest it's just my corner really sorry about my scruffy hair as well <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you don't really know how you want to set things up until you actually start working in a space, or at least I don't anyway. I like to know, you know, the ergonomics when I'm actually in the space. And then make tweaks and adjustments as I go along. That's, that's the way I like to set myself up, really. But I don't need a whole room. I don't need a whole big, massive studio just to, you know, get creating again. This has been my absolute lifesaver during this time because obviously it means I can still be creative and, yeah you know process things with my journaling and do what I need to do work wise which is obviously needed as well and people have been asking me you know am I going to switch to a to a home studio now and give up my out there studio and my short answer to that is no there's a few reasons for that one of the reasons is my mental health and getting out there it, it does me a lot of good the other thing is I really really love my studio and it's big so and I've got a lot of stuff there and I like to oil paint so I need a space for that and the other side of having that studio is basically probably a third of the storage in there is used for my shop yeah all my inventory all my stock shop is in there and I couldn't possibly store it in here because it kind of gets a little bit sort of dampish in this room because it's kind of like an inside outside room which is lovely because I kind of feel like I'm out in nature when I'm inside and it's gorgeous when it rains on that roof because it sounds so cozy but at the same time I wouldn't want to store paper artwork I mean I know there's some bits and bobs in here at the moment but I won't be storing things longer term this is just while I'm sort of working on them and it's not damp in here or anything like that I think it's more condensation-y at different times because it gets really really cold in here at night because it's kind of like yeah just stuck on the end of the house if I was going to move to a complete home studio and have this space, I would need another space in the house to store all my shop stuff and my artwork and my papers and all things like that. So it wouldn't tick all the boxes for that. But for the way I'm using it, it, it works absolutely brilliantly. So as I say, my main key element for a space is always the light because, yeah, it's great because of that ceiling up there. So I can just kind of show you a little bit without hopefully wobbling you about too much. I love, love, love the heater. That changed the, the room really dramatically. The second thing that really changed the room was the size of the table and the fact that I could get my knees under it because the little table I was using was teeny tiny kind of like fold up one and I couldn't get my legs under it properly. So this one has got really nothing in the way for knees and so I don't bump my knees which is really good at the moment because I am a little bit clumsy as well sometimes. So I think that's you all. <laughs> I don't know if you're a little bit wonky. <laughs> sorry if you are but i think that's you all caught up for now and it's been really nice having a little cozy chat because yeah i have missed you and i have missed vlogging but yeah i've just taken a little bit of time out just to heal and get myself you know properly better and i know you won't mind that in fact if i hadn't you'd probably have told me off wouldn't you <laughs> i probably need to give you a little house update at some point as well and give you a little tour of the house because we have done some bits and bobs in the house and yeah it's probably looking quite different than than what it was and I've also got some more journaling videos to do because I want to make my own journal I've got a plan for that so I'm gathering all my thoughts and supplies ready to make another journal because this one but I, I can definitely make some improvements so I'm going to be doing that so if you saw the last video you will know because I mentioned that in that one apart from that I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing <laughs> it's the no plan plan all the way yes so thanks as always so much for keeping me company and all your loving and encouraging messages and comments. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sending the hugest, softest hugs and loves to you. Try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye for now. Bye for now.